so what is storytelling about is it about the cameras one two three is it about the angles one two three or is it about the way we convey our thoughts in a way that they seem transparent and they come out of flow and to process that we have to put layers sounds all complex but i think storytelling uh, is very simple see i stumbled over there i i noticed my fault so i think i have to drink water because water will make things interesting maybe hmm. so i am hydrated but the thing is that i used to be wrong i used to think that you need fancy cameras fancy lightings and obviously softwares to really communicate your thoughts but as i have seen more and more videos i have seen that one thing that distinguishes many people from the rest is their skill of storytelling and it can be achieved simply by just writing down your thoughts and just layering those videos and trying to make something out of it creatively and you don't need fancy equipments for that because it's all in here in your brain but nonetheless obviously these kind of softwares equipments the more the merrier and the better they help but should they really stop us from making videos or storytelling or trying to convey a message i don't think so i'm feeling a little hot because of the heat obviously and i have to turn off the uh, the fan because uh, otherwise there will be a little bit of disturbance in this video but bear with me so that's what i'm trying to say is that here you don't need fancy equipment or you don't need uh, flying arrows to convey your point if you are good at storytelling i think you can do anything and you can engage your audience as well because i think these things are all excuses that might be holding us back right think about it this way how are course sellers able to sell so many courses in a year that is pure on the basis of their storytelling skills sometimes the courses might really suck but their storytelling is always on point and that's why we get attracted and we see some value in it even though those can have zero to no value but we still see value in those because the way they convey their message by using strong words by using the power of uh, you know body language and everything and they get you to buy those courses so that is the reason how they are able to sell you courses just simple plain storytelling and yes i need to stop giving excuses to myself that after i get equipment i will do something about it because then i will just keep on waiting to create some masterpiece and that masterpiece might never come while i am just practicing i am making videos i am in the flow i am making a lot of videos and definitely my storytelling will keep on improving with every video i make so that will be the more beneficial way and in the way maybe i might make a masterpiece or i might not but i will learn something or other about storytelling and i will learn how to improve my script writing how to go for it and how to really get going i really need to turn on the fan i can't bear it now but kudos to the people who still work outside and have to face so much difficulty because outside the sun just is isn't that forgiving here i can turn on the fan i can turn on the ac but outside the sun is not so kind so i guess it's just barriers that we have created in our mind 
and we need to let go of those barriers and only way to let go of those barriers is to make content make more of it not, not just think about it not just dream about it that i will do this when i will have this and believe me this has happened with me before and the things just don't happen you have to be there you have to keep on creating and then you have to learn then you have to apply some other thing then you have to apply some other strategy but you have to keep doing stuff you can't just think about it dream about it execution is the game even though surprisingly in uh, my childhood times i used to participate in every kind of activity but speaking in front of camera and trying to deliver that it's not a joke i used to think it's very easy but it's not a joke the way that you know people use those persuasion skills to bind the story together to sell you anything how do you think these big 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 brands have so many profits is basis of storytelling marketing is all about storytelling so to do that you need to be confident on your skills you need to get in the front end more and more and you need to be in front of the camera because video actually is going to be the future so whoever is missing out on storytelling whoever wants to make big money in the future storytelling will be one of the strongest thing even in coding you will say coding doesn't require requires storytelling i'm not a good coder but from what i have seen i'm not a coder at all actually i'm very 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 bad coder i have done computer science but i am very very bad at it but from what i have seen and my friends are good coders so what i have seen is that is also storytelling kind of you're telling the computer to do task for you and if you are able to communicate those task then you, you mean it means that you have good storytelling skills right or if you have to put it simply in coding when everything comes along and when for example you are coding for a game and when the game comes along then at the end of the game everybody is able to play the game so game also tells the storytelling but nobody knows the back end back end is the storytelling somebody has thought about those things somebody has tried to convey those things in form of words through code and then the end result is a game that you might be playing you might be enjoying that is all work of some storyteller obviously combined with technical expertise and storytelling so coding is also about technical expertise plus storytelling let's look at storytelling more deeply so maybe the first step is to write a rough draft like this hey guys now you have to just edit 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 that's the most frustrating part now meanwhile you need to take a cold shower so here we go no shower for today now time to procrastinate it some more editing some more editing now the time to hit record and publish now not to overthink and move on to the next story so basically what i'm trying to say is that it is all hit and drive nobody is perfect and you don't need the best of gadgets to story tell there are different ways you can do it by writing you can do it through videos you can do it through podcast choice is yours tell your story go for it everybody is telling their story good or bad doesn't matter now is the time tell your story go ahead and have fun with it and i will see you in the next